An important event took place in the field of laser weapons development technologies. The elite club of its developers, the United States, Russia, Israel, and China, was joined by another member, Great Britain. On January 19, 2024, the British government website reported that the UK Ministry of Defense conducted new tests of Dragonfire laser weapons against aerial targets at the Hebrides Proving Ground in Scotland. In this video, we'll detail everything that's currently known about Dragonfire. We'll also try to understand the global prospects for the development of this weapon. British laser weapons have been tested at the Porton Down Science Park in Wiltshire. The direct creators of the laser weapon are the missile systems manufacturer MBDA and the companies DSTL, Leonardo, and Quinity Q, which were engaged in it under the Laser Directed Energy Program, or LDU for short. Back in early January 2017, it became known that the UK Ministry of Defense awarded a contract worth £30 million, which is about $37 million, to create a prototype laser weapon. The purpose of developing such a prototype is to see if directed energy technology can give an advantage to the country's armed forces. In 2019, the British military revealed that three prototypes of directed energy weapons would be developed at once to test the weapon as soon as possible and use it in the future. According to the British government, the range of Dragonfire is classified, but it's a line-of-sight weapon that can hit any visible target. Dragonfire uses British technology to generate a high-power laser beam over long distances. The accuracy required is equivalent to hitting a one-pound coin from a distance of a kilometer, the publication said. Note that a one-pound coin has a diameter of 23 millimeters. The cost of the shot at the same time was only 10 pounds, or $13. It's noted that this weapon can hit targets at the speed of light and use an intense beam of light to cut through the target, resulting in its structural destruction. According to The Sun, the Dragonfire laser cannon has been firing at drones in tests. The weapon's designed to shoot down missiles, planes, drones, and even satellites with high accuracy, but its development is five years behind schedule and has already cost more than 140 million pounds, or roughly 177 million dollars. Not much is known about Dragonfire for reasons of secrecy. The system's based on a 50-kilowatt solid-state laser. It uses beams of doped glass fiber to connect to a hub, the tower where the laser is installed also contains an electro-optical camera and an auxiliary laser for target detection and beam focusing. The target engagement range was 3.4 kilometers. The laser's energy requirements can be met by a flywheel energy storage system, a joint UK-US innovation currently under development. UK Defense Secretary Grant Chaps called the new laser advanced and said such a weapon would help revolutionize the battlefield. This type of advanced weapon could revolutionize the battlefield by reducing reliance on expensive ammunition as well as reducing the risk of collateral damage. Investing with industry partners in advanced technologies like Dragonfire is critical in a highly competitive world, making us maintain our battlefield advantage and keep the nation safe, said Chaps. It's also officially reported by the UK authorities that the primary mission of the LDU system is to safely steer and focus high laser power to an extremely precisely placed point at long range. The tracking test was an excellent test of how the components of the Dragonfire tracking system work together. This test utilized the low-power Cunetti Q laser, Leonardo beam guide, and MBDA image processing and management technology to provide the pointing and tracking accuracy that would be required to do the damage when a high-power laser is used. Going forward, the UK plans to deploy high-energy laser weapons such as Dragonfire aboard Royal Navy warships, British Army armored vehicles, and Royal Air Force fighter aircraft, including BAE Systems Tempest, i.e. sixth-generation fighters. In order to objectively assess the achievements of the British, let's see what other members of the elite club of laser weapon developers have achieved. Let's start with the United States, a strategic ally of Great Britain. Lockheed Martin, which is one of the leading developers of laser weapons in the U.S. in August 2023, announced on its official website that it managed to increase the power of its laser weapon prototypes to a record 500 kilowatts within the framework of the High Energy Laser Scaling Initiatives Program, abbreviated as HELSI. That is, the Americans were able to make a laser that was 10 times more powerful than the British one. Agree that the difference is striking. And what about China? At IDEX 2017 in the UAE, Polytechnologies showed its development, a product called Silent Hunter. 
Subsequently, at new exhibitions, its improved modifications with various features were demonstrated several times. Silent Hunter is a container with equipment which can be installed stationary or placed on a three-axle cargo chassis. A laser unit with fire control optics is placed on the roof of the container. The complex is based on a fiber laser with power ranging from 30 to 100 kilowatts. Nothing more is known about China's new developments in this area, which is due to total secrecy in this country. But we can confidently predict that in six years, the Chinese have already reached or are close to the level of laser power of 300 kilowatts. As you can see, they're also significantly ahead of the curve. And now about the Russians. This country was the first to experiment with lasers as a weapon. In the USSR, back in 1982, the first drone was shot down with a laser. In 1987, they built the space station Skiff. It weighed almost 80 tons and had very impressive dimensions, length about 40 meters, diameter 4 meters. Fortunately, its launch was not a success. The station collapsed into the Pacific Ocean. But in 2017, Putin's Russia managed to put the Perisvet laser complex on combat duty for air and missile defense tasks. The laser is reported to have a power of 1 megawatt. As you can see, the UK is at the very tail end of the laser issue. Everything that it's demonstrated repeats the achievements of the US and Russia at least 10 years ago. And just like them, Dragonfire is designed to be placed on a warship which means that its size and power are comparable to the world's analogs. And could it be otherwise? The laws of physics are the same even for the military industry. Now we're going to talk about these laws of physics. Laser weapons have several fundamentally insurmountable and very significant disadvantages. First, it hits only in direct line of sight, that is, at a distance of up to 5 kilometers. Further, the target's hidden behind the horizon. Therefore, this weapon is only against air targets or for use in the air or space. Secondly, the parameters of laser radiation depend on weather and humidity. It's scattered in the atmosphere. That is, in fog or rain, the power of the weapon drops sharply. And finally, thirdly, the beam of any, even the most powerful laser, is reflected from the mirror surface. Glued on the bottom of the drone, foil from a dollar candy bar sharply reduces the effectiveness of the laser. It was for this reason that the expensive project was closed within the framework of which an experimental Boeing YAL-1 airliner was built based on a Boeing 747 with a laser that was supposed to destroy the holes of Russian strategic missiles launched hundreds of kilometers away. It turned out that it was enough to cover the holes of missiles with a reflective layer and the effectiveness of this new version of Star Wars will fall sharply. In time, of course, scientists will be able to reduce the weight and size of the installation to the size when it can be covertly brought to the tactical zone, which is 5 kilometers from the front, and shoot down drones. A laser with a power of more than 100 kilowatts should fit completely on an army G. This is the criterion of the Pentagon and any military, but so far 100 kilowatt installations are very large objects which are two vulnerable targets for cheap means of fire defeat including FPV drones costing $500 to $700, which have a direct beneficiary in the Russian-Ukrainian war right now. For example, a 100-kilowatt diesel generator is a structure with dimensions of 3 by 1.5 meters and weighing 2 tons. And another 100-kilowatt laser and a targeting system. It's not even possible to fit into an army truck. But of course, funds will be invested in the development of laser weapons, and very significant. The temptation's too great. After all, the cost of the pulse is calculated in tens of dollars, not hundreds of thousands and millions, as is the case of anti-aircraft missiles. And it's impossible to dodge the beam, but we're sure that the main task of laser weapons will be burning out optics, which is on many drones and anti-aircraft missiles. You can't cover it with chocolate bar foil, and such compact but powerful laser installations will most likely not be created by British scientists. It's likely to be either the Americans or the Russians. And we'll not see any pictures from Star Wars when laser-cut airplanes and similar objects, at least not for the next 50 years. What do you think about the development of laser weapons, particularly in Britain? Will they be able to make a breakthrough and catch up with the USA, China, and Russia? Write about it in your comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and share your thoughts in the comments. And see you soon!